Hi, I'm Christopher Hine, Head Instructor at Aikido Fresno. Today I would like to present to you a thought problem. The problem's called the burning building problem. I first learned about it through the self-defense community, and I've never heard martial artists talk about this problem. I've certainly never heard it in Aikido. However, I think it can be very illuminating as to what Aikido as a system is trying to teach you to do. Imagine yourself at the top of a 10-story building that's completely on fire. What are your options to survive the fire? One option is you could just sit in place and hope someone comes and helps you. Maybe firefighters will be there soon and they'll save you. Second option is to jump out a window, fall 10 stories, and maybe through some luck, survive the 10-story fall. Third option is to try and run down the staircase. However, understand the staircase is full of smoke, and you'll probably die of smoke inhalation and burn up anyways. None of these options sound very good, do they? Now imagine yourself as a fully trained expert firefighter. How would the firefighter do in this situation? Well, the firefighter would probably know the structurally sound positions in the building that they could stay and survive the longest until help could possibly arrive. A well-conditioned, healthy firefighter might be able to fall a really far distance and survive because they're tough people, but still not too likely. A firefighter, through their training, would kind of understand how to deal with smoke. They might be able to cover themselves in a wet blanket or something and be more likely to get down 10 stories. However, 10 stories is a long way, and even using these methods probably wouldn't make it. Even as an expert, well-trained firefighter, the odds are not that much better than an untrained person of surviving this desperate situation. The burning building problem is the kind of problem that martial artists usually don't like to think about. The reason is because we believe that our martial art training will help us be the hero in the story, the person who's always capable of coming out on top, no matter what. But when we think about the burning building problem, we start to realize that no matter how well trained we are, there are some situations that our odds of getting out are not very good. This is where a system like Aikido comes into place. You see, Aikido is not a fighting system. There are some things in Aikido that teach us rudimentary fighting skills. These are the kinds of things, if we compared it to firefighting training, like how to use a fire extinguisher, or maybe to cover your face with a damp cloth. These kinds of things are basic and can help us keep a situation from getting worse, but aren't really fighting skills. Mostly what Aikido is trying to teach us to do is to stay ahead of the problem, to pay attention to a situation and find where we fit with the situation instead of how we fight the situation. This is what Aikido is trying to do. If we use the Aikido approach for the burning building, well, maybe we would see if there was any way we could avoid going into a tall building, period. If we couldn't avoid that, then the first thing we would do inside the building is to look around and make sure that it seemed like a safe place to be. I don't want to go to the top of a 10-story building that looks like it could catch on fire. And if I was convinced that I could still go up to the 10th story, when I was up there, I would pay attention. I would make sure there were fire extinguishers handy. I would look and see if there was some way to exit, some kind of outside fire escape. These are the kinds of things that Aikido is trying to teach you about fighting. Aikido is not a good system in a fight. If you want to learn to fight, you should study fighting systems. But if you want to learn to stay out of fights and preserve yourself in situations before they become terrible, Aikido is the kind of system you want to study. I hope this helps you understand a little better what Aikido is trying to do as a system.